Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Maybe you're familiar with this incident where there were a few Ukrainian pilots who, who died, not supposedly, who died, but supposedly in a accident. They just collided in the air in Ukraine. Remember, it was the renowned that I never heard of uh, Ukrainian pilot Ace Juice. That's how it was called, Juice. Uh, 25 year old, 24 year old, 20 something like this, um, which is okay. I mean, if you look at the German aces, they were young as well. But nevertheless, we have this guy. Unfortunately, he died a few days ago. They had a, a state funeral and so on, and they reported that uh, his plane collided in a show, in something, an accident, and so on. Okay, I didn't want to make a a video on that one since it was an accident. I was like, well. A lot of accidents happen and nothing that I thought it was very important. But hey, this is correlated with this incident that I will report now because it's a little bit uh, strange that uh, we have two helicopters, two Ukrainian helicopters, destroyed, attacked and destroyed by a Suhoi 35, I think. We're going to figure things out in, from the two articles that I have, one from the, the New Voice of Ukraine and the other one from Russia Today. So two Russian helicopters lose some more pilots. Supposedly they were landing and then the Suhoi came and surprised them and them up. So let's see what the Ukrainians are saying because the Ukrainians are saying, yes, we lost some pilots, but we're not sure how. And the Russians come and say, well, it was because of that guy. The Ukrainians confirm that there was a Suhoi in the air and in the area when these two helicopters were shot. But hey, let me, uh, it's just a coincidence that these guys uh, lose pilots. Six more Ukrainian pilots. Why would they say that? Feared death after two Mi-8 helicopters downed in Donetsk Oblast. This is from today, August 31st, 2023, the new voice of Ukraine. Ukraine could have lost as many as six more. Remember Jews and the other ones? All right. Ukrainian pilots after two Mi-8 helicopters crashed. It crashed. <laughs> okay, they crashed during a combat mission in the Donetsk region. Is that how we call it? Um, being hit, you call it crashed. I guess if you want to be nice, which I don't care about. Anyway, I want to be truthful, not nice. Uh, always truth uh, supersedes. Is that how it is? The nicest for me, at least in my books. It's nice. It's nice to have both truth and be nice, but. Rarely that occurs and be classy as well. The tragedy occurred in Donetsk Krematorsk district. The spokesperson for Ukraine's Eastern Operational Group uh, reported the exact cause remained undetermined. Well, I tell you what happened. There are reports that a Russian Suhoi 35 fighter jet was airborne at the time the Ukrainian helicopters were attempting to land. This maneuver is commonly executed to avoid potential threats. So what, they uh, just dropped down uh, when they saw the, the Suhoi? Yes, indeed, I'm quoting. An aviation incident involved two Mi-8 helicopters occurred. They were engaged in a combat mission. During their mission, a hostile Suhoi 35 fighter jet was in the air. That is, came and fucked us up, unfortunately. But hey, this is it. Six pilots were killed during a combat mission near Bakhmut on August 29. So six more. All the deceased were officers, with one from Papa Pop and the rest from various regions of Ukraine. Another combat accident occurred in Zitomir region on August 25. While performing a combat mission, two L-39 training combat aircraft collided. This is the one I'm talking about. Collided in mid-air. So they were, in, they were, while performing a combat mission, they just collided in mid-air. No, I don't think so. They don't want to report it. They were shot down by the Russians. Don't come close. All three combat pilots from the pilots from the 40th Tactical Aviation Brigade, Andrei Pilshikov, that's a very Russian name with Kov at the end, Jews, Vyacheslav Minka, Vyacheslav sounds like Polish, and Serhi Prokazin. Now I know what this is. Czech. <laughs> were killed. I'm sorry for you guys, but this is how war goes. The investigation into the tragedy is ongoing with the State Bureau of Investigation open, opening a criminal case. 
criminal case. The investigation is considered considering three possible scenarios. They start with technical malfunction on the, of the aircraft, pilot error, and violations during flight operation organization. I can bring you another one. How about shut down by the evil Russians? Now, that's from New Voice of Ukraine. We're going to jump into Russia today. Kiev confirms loss of military helicopters. 31st of August 2023. Six pilots were killed <laughs> in an incident this week. No crash. According to local media, the Ukrainian military has confirmed losing six officers in an incident involving two MiG military Mi-8 helicopters in Donbass. The deaths were earlier reported by local media in a second high-profile Air Force incident in as, man in as many weeks. The military aircraft was downed, the aircraft were downed on Thursday by a Russian Suhoi 35 fighter jet while trying to land on a combat mission, military spokesman Pop 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 said, adding that the exact circumstances are under investigation. Ukrainian media first reported the crash on Wednesday, citing sources in the brigade to which the pilots belonged. It happened in the Kiev controlled part of the Netsk People's Republic, and reports indicated the MI. Um, Eights were involved in an action near the city of Artyomovsk, also, also known as Bakhmut. Ram pam pam, let's go and find it out where that is, right? So here is Ukraine. Artyomovsk is right here. So this is Don, uh, Donbass. This is Donetsk. And Artyomovsk is right here that these guys don't care to uh, put it uh, big on the map anymore. Uh, like, for instance, uh, where things occur, uh, actions. So here, Bakhmut. So it must have been in this area. Krematorsk, TTT, pop, pop, pop. So in this area, Krematorsk is right here. Just so you know, Krematorsk, Artemovsk, which is, which is Bakhmut by the Ukrainians. So that's Krematorsk. And uh, let me show you where Kiev is right here. You got it? Good, Krematorsk right here. So let's go back to the Russians. Last Friday, two Ukrainian L 39 combat training aircraft, training aircraft collided to the west of Kiev. Z Zitomir region. Let's go and find Zitomir. Ram pam pam. Zitomir is right here. So they were not shut down, those guys, Jews. They were just... Uh, <clears throat> I, I, I guess my, my fourth scenario uh, is off the table at this point. Why? Because these guys had collided over this to the west of Kiev, resulting in the death of pilots. What the hell was here then? What did I read here? Tragedies are going to have what happened uh, while performing a, com performing a combat mission. Okay, they didn't say it was a uh, it was a training here, but I know it was a training. But I forgot old people forget more than young people. So while performing combat mission, yeah, but it was a training combat mission right here, uh, right, resulting in the death of the pilot. Combat training aircraft, and it was Zitomir, one of them, Andre Jews was a prominent figure in Kiev campaign to secure the delivery of F-16 fighter jets by Western backers. The US and its allies have pl pledged, pledged to, to train Ukrainian pilots on how to use American-made aircraft before the promised transfer. Blah, 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 tra -la -la. The point is, the Ukrainians lost uh, some uh, pilots and obviously the Russians lose uh, as well, but Two, when they tried to land on a mission, the Suhoi 35 was uh, ready and uh, eager and beaver and all that, uh, <laughs> prepared for the attack. And it's, it seems like he, he either shot them down while they were scrambling to land uh, to uh, avoid uh, the attack, but I don't know how that would uh, really, they don't, probably it's easy, it's, I don't know, I don't, I don't, uh, I didn't fly in a fighter jet, um, tell you, but probably is, I'm guessing, you know, landing the the group could just disperse, and if you hit the helicopter, you don't destroy the the unit, the pilots, and whomever is in the in the in the helicopter. Therefore, in the air, if you get shot, you get lost. Not only not only the helicopter gets blown up, but also the people. So you lose pilots. So probably they try to land. And then um, they either made some error, which I don't think you can make both of them make the same error and then like that. I think they were bum bum in the air and they didn't land. They just passed away. Unfortunately, my friends, this is war. So again, stop this bullshit and uh, rearrange Ukraine uh, very easily.
Well, some people have to accept certain things, but it's better to have, accept those things and have a continuous war. And those things could not be so drastic. You just uh, don't have the means to attack anybody. And I'm not, talking about, no, I'm not talking about Russia in this case. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.